What's going on, E Nation fans? This is Impress 48 here. Welcome back to another diecast related video. And I do apologize for like the lack of lighting. I'm in like a different area because it's, eh, I just want like a better backgroundish for now and all that. Uh, for this occasion, um, and for this occasion, the reason why I'm in here because I do have only one, only one, one twenty four. From a Chip Ganassi car. In this video, I'm going to show off um, of every Chip Ganassi racing related diecast I own from the NASCAR team as of this video because this is Chip Ganassi Racing's last ever NASCAR race as a NASCAR team. After that, um, uh, we say goodbye to Chip Ganassi Racing's NASCAR team because Justin Marks bought them. And at least um, we get to keep Chip Ganassi in IndyCar and IMSA. So, woo! But as for the NASCAR team, in honor of them competing in NASCAR one last time, I'm going to be showing off, like, diecast I own from Chip Ganassi as of now, just to appreciate what they've done to NASCAR. And, um, you know, like, this is like a tribute thing that I do. That I've done since last year with Johnson, Kenseth, and Boyer. Just show off my diecast I have from them as of that particular video. Because even after that video, I, I do get more of their cars and all that. That's why I'm going to do the Michael and Matt, same Chip Ganassi. Even after this video, of course I'm going to get more. I'm just showing off like the ones that I has as of any particular video I made. Hopefully you guys understand that. So starting off, because only this view, I have 124. From Ganassi, and this is going to be on Starlight Marlins 2001, Proud to be an American, uh, Dodge Interpred from Chip Ganassi Racing with Felix Sabatis, I think? Anyone remember when Ganassi and Sabatis were like a duo and all that? Anyone remember Felix Sabatis too? He owned the iconic 42 and then made another car, and then Chip and Felix became... Uh, duos so yeah so this is the car itself very very patriotic this library is a tribute to 911 of course it was sponsorless um because sterling and i guess the team whatever wanted to honor like this country after a horrible horrible disaster uh they had 20 years ago from the twin towers um the pentagon and Somewhere like in the middle of nowhere in Pennsylvania. I could be wrong. I apologize for my stupidity with the history with the Flight 93 part. Forgive me. But yeah, regardless. Very beautiful library. Beautiful paint scheme. Amazing touching tribute. It's amazing that NASCAR, that we saw um, NASCAR uh, paint schemes. American patriotic paint schemes. And seeing everybody in the world honoring uh, this country and just uh, give tribute to the ones that lost their lives whether they were passengers whether they were like um, emergency service workers you know like police officers firefighters innocent lives and all that and it's just a horrible horrible moment and that did change this country forever even 20 years later it has not been the same and it's amazing that in Richmond, the, the Richmond Fall Race, that there was like the 9-11 tributes. IndyCar did the moment of silence, like the early before like practice, I think. And Xfinity Cup did tributes. Like there's a lot of tributes honoring 9-11 20 years later. We never forget. Never forget. Now I'm going to show my 160 force to you guys. Stay tuned. All right. Now. It is time for the 164. With that being said, with no rush, let's begin. So first up, this is Jamie McMurray's 2011 Bass Pro Shops Tracker Boat Chevy Impala from Chip, Earnhardt Chip Ganassi Racing with Felix Sabatis. Anybody remember that? And as you can see here, this is one of my all-time favorite Jamie McMurray paint schemes. I remember like Jamie having this paint scheme back in 2010 and I remember him winning the Daytona 500 which was my first ever Daytona 500 race I've ever watched and then I remember him winning at the Brickyard 400 and 
the Bank of America 400 at Charlotte Motor Speedway. And I got to say, this is like McMurray's, honestly, in my opinion, I think this is McMurray's best season I've seen. Like, yeah, I know, like, it wasn't like the best, I think, stats-wise, despite having three wins. But to me, I think this was like an amazing moment I've seen from McMurray. He was a good driver, could win races, but I don't know what happened. Like, he wasn't the greatest, but re but regardless, he won big races. Uh, he won 500, break up 400. Nobody can take that away. So, to be honest, I still think his 2010 season was good. Although he was like like almost to the top 20 in points, but still. I, but with the three wins, I think it's amazing. And speaking of Jamie McMurray, this is the 2013 Bass Pro Shops cool zone oh, wait, wait, oh my god i'm sorry no 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 wrong sponsor i'm sorry okay so this is jamie mcmurray's 2013 banana boat cool zone chevy ss from where is it from again earnhardt chip ganassi with felix sabatis and i still remember this die cast very well i don't remember i, st I still remember the paint scheme but i don't remember like what race it was ran. I think it was like ran at the first Pelgano race. I remember McMurray ran in this scheme back in 2012 as well. But unfortunately, a die cast ne was never made. But to see this in 2013, very, very cool. I really hope like a bunch of people remember this, at least some people. Like, I don't expect a lot of people remember this because it's been forever since we've seen this scheme. And also, it's like a forgotten scheme. And then uh, my last Jay McMurray diecast that I have for now with Chip Ganassi. This is his 2014 McDonald's Chevy SS. And, and it was not with Earnhardt because the Earnhardt, the Earnhardt Corporation, uh, Chip Ganassi and Felix Sabadi and all that split up after 2013. And then we had this generic font. I hated this font back in 2014 and in 2021. I still don't like it. But I'm glad Ross has a different font than number one. Yeah, it looks a lot better than this. I just don't like it. I don't. Like, it just never goes well with the McDonald's schemes. I think it's decent with other schemes, but regardless, I just never like the font. I'm just not a fan of it. I just don't like it. And then, next up, we got Kurt Busch's 2020 Gear Wrench Chevy Camaro Z01 1 Ali from uh chip ganassi racing and i gotta say this paint scheme in 2019 uh paint scheme is my favorite gear wrench paint schemes yeah the gear wrench scheme is still the same in 2021 but not really at the same time because in 2021 it's like orange no it's like orange on a ro roof i think on the hood as well i don't remember but to be honest, like when it comes to the gear wrench cars from Kurt's 2019 or 2020, I just like them both. But this right here is more badass. It's more black. The designing is just, it's just badass. What else is there to say? It's just a beautiful paint scheme. Same thing 2019. I still want the 2019 version to be honest as well. But man, I, when it comes to the 2019, 2020 version, oh my God, it's beautiful. All right. Next one, got three more diecasts to go. Um, here we go. This is going to be on um, Chip Ganassi Racing's best NASCAR driver they had. And it was Kyle Larson's 2016 Target Chip Ganassi Racing with Felix Sabatis. Yep. Um, anyone remember when Target was an IndyCar and NASCAR? Good times. And apparently they stopped sponsoring racing because soccer, I think. I mean, no offense to the soccer fans, but like, come on. Come on. Like, Target's just iconic and all, all that. I don't know. But, um, yep, Larson has six wins with Chip Ganassi. And I know, like, a bunch of angry fans are still crapping on Chip Ganassi for letting him go. Be like, hey, Chip. Y'all shouldn't have fired Larson. Look at how he's doing in Hedrick Motorsports. Well, here's the thing. To those people who are just stupid. And think it's Chip's fault. It's not. When Larson had his stupid, mo stupid moment. Um, sponsors didn't want to represent somebody who did something that stupid. Um, 
Um, and then, and then Kenza took over and all that. And I don't, and Kenza's season last year, like, it was bad because, like, he had to deal with a crappy package and all that. I don't know. It was just not a good season for Kenza, but do not blame Chip Ganassi for uh, letting go of Larson. If you don't have a sponsor in the team, um, no ride. No sponsor, no ride. That's how it is in motorsports. So do not blame Chip. Even Chip wanted Larson. Like, I'm, still, I'm sure he still cares about him. But, like, hey, the sponsors left Larson after the N-word thing. So he had to let him go. You hate to see it because Larson was the best driver in Chip Ganassi. Like, Chip has ever had in NASCAR. So, yeah. But, however... Like, despite my opinions about Larson's previous times, like, I don't hate Larson. But to be honest, I'm starting to, like, be more positive towards Larson because he's the most talented driver in America in racing. He can put, he can go on any car in the racing world. And guess what? He's just going to win races. And guess what? We might see him in the Indy 500. And hope, and personally, I hope he does. He's just that damn good. So, yeah. So, I'm happy that Larson got a second chance, and he's making a second chance worth it. So, yeah, now he's battling with Denny Hamlin for the non-chase championship in 2021. And speaking of Larson, this is a 2018 Credit One Bank Chevy Camaro um, Z01. The old crappy Camaro. And, yeah, I think I think in this diecast... Yeah, there it is, the, the, wind, the loose windshield and all that. Um... Yeah, he was winless back in 2018. There were so many races Larson could have won. Of course, most notably, Chicagoland 2018 when he had that amazing battle with Kyle Busch. I think uh, Bristol Night Race of 2018. He didn't win that race. Kurt won that race. So that's like, what, two races he could have won? Or there was like a couple more they could have won. There were so many races Larson could have won with Chip, honestly. He was just that damn good, but he just could not close the deal. You hate it for Larson. And this is when DC Solar was with them. And they screwed off Rod Chastain. Wait, my English is terrible. Look, remember DC Solar, everybody? Well, yep, that fraud of a company screwed out, screwed off Ross Chastain. But hey, at least Ross is with Chip again. And he's going with Truck House next year. So all ends well, that ends well. But still, fuck you, DC Solar, for screwing over Ross Chastain. Now, they didn't screw them over. They screwed themselves, and then Ross had to suffer the consequences with no ride. But, hey, at least he's still in NASCAR, so there's that. And I represent. And then the best for last, this is Kyle Larson's 2019 Credit One Bank. Like, here's the difference in similarities. Of course, the designing is different. Uh, there was more white on the front bumper to, like, all the way here to the A-pillar. Um, yeah, like, 2018 had more design. 2019, it was just more blue. I mean, regardless, both diecasts just freaking gorgeous. Good lord. Oh, but there's no non November. Calm down. Anyway, so, as we as you can see here, and, like, once again, the solo was there. And this diecast was made before, uh, the, the incident happened. Not of all the days or nights, Christmas 2018. Huh. Guess somebody who who I guess somebody who owned DC Solo was on naughty list. Very naughty. But that's not about that. This is about Larson. So yeah, this is the last diecast of the video that I have for Chip Ganassi. As of this video, of course in the future, I'm still gonna collect more diecast from literally anybody, especially Chip Ganassi, especially Michael and Ed. Of course I'm gonna get more diecast, so yeah, I already explained in the beginning of the video, so yeah, if you know, you know. So, yeah, this is it. This is it. So here are all the Ganassi diecasts for NASCAR that I have as of the making of this video. And, man, even though they were not like Roger Penske good, they were not like Hendrick good, not Gibbs good. Even though they had some tough times, they were still competitive. They were still winning races. And um, they still had good drivers. And Chip was just very loyal. 
and to see Chip getting into NASCAR in 2001 as a cart owner than IndyCar, it was still cool to see him in NASCAR. Now, 20 something years later, we say goodbye to Chip's NASCAR team. Chip Ganassi, thank you so much for being a very good NASCAR team. People in the NASCAR world will miss you. We just thank you for the memories. Thank you for everything. And um, I'm looking forward to see Chip's future in the sports car world, IMSA. I think WC, I don't know. Maybe just IMSA. And I know there'll be an Indy car, of course. So, hey, we get to see Chip Ganassi, race, Chip Ganassi racing still, just not a NASCAR. And I'm looking forward to see Ganassi's future outside of NASCAR. I know they're the best damn team in IndyCar and also like in them says, well, hey, they're going to bring back the second car next year. Like, I believe they're going to have the L2 back next year. So that's great to see. I'm looking forward to that. <sighs> like, even though I have not been the happiest with NASCAR the past some years and all that, I still appreciate Chip Ganassi being a NASCAR. So, yeah. Um, sorry about Charlie barking in the background. I guess he's just playing with my sisters and all that. My mom. So, yeah. Chip. Chip Ganassi Racing's NASCAR team. Thank you so much for the memories. And, um, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Follow my social accounts. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube notifications. And, please... Uh, tell me in the comments below if you guys want what is your favorite Chip Ganassi racing memory what is your favorite Chip Ganassi racing related paint scheme just tell me the good stuff tell me like your favorite moments from them favorite paint scheme favorite wins all the good stuff alright just you know let's talk about the memories of Chip Ganassi racing's NASCAR team alright with that being said thank you guys so much for supporting E-Nation this is Ian Press 48 signing off goodbye everybody